the moon. Sweat drips down my brow as I scan the room for more monsters. The floors ascend unyieldingly. Swarms of minions encircle their broad mother or hive lord, and then another set of stairs. Is this what is left for me? Unceasing climbing towards the unknown? A feeling begins to grow in my stomach, an uneasy pit, pushing against my soul. But then, light strikes my eyes from the side of the room, emanating from an open door, accompanied by the sound of rushing air. I move along the wall, prepared for the surprise attack from some unseen assailant. As my feet bring me nearer and nearer to the doorway, I begin to feel the rush of air passing by me and escaping into the lid beyond. I feel the sweat from my brow begin to pull from my face as a gale pushes from behind me into the expanse, and before I can turn my head to creep away, I'm torn from this room into the doorway and see the door shut behind me. As I tumble violently into this new expanse, I notice two things. The first is the lack of any noise at all. The second is, as soon as I walked through the frame, there was no wind at all. My eyes try to lock onto something as I tumble head over heels, my stomach floating up inside me with a strange lightness. Finally, my hands above me scrape against something as I flip onto my back and stare up into the sky. Oh, lack of sky. What should be an open expanse of blue and wispy white streaks is a vast texture of black, blotted only by an immense spotlight near the horizon. I avert my gaze from its intensity to see something else floating in that nothingness. The only drop of color in this blackness, a little blue marble floating in a sea of nothingness. In all my travels, through what feels like dimensions and time, no single sight has been so incredible to see. The home of humanity in its entirety, the birthplace of every single soul to have existed, every loving relationship and ingenious scientific discovery. It seems so small there, like I could reach out and pluck it from the solar system if I wanted, take it somewhere safe, protect them all. But then, I remember where I am. A barren landscape of harshly lit craters and scattered rock debris. It seems they'll have to protect themselves for now. I push my head to my feet. I panic for a moment, remembering that I haven't had a breath in a bit. But I feel fine enough so I could that's not a problem for whatever reason. I feel my weight sink into the lunar surface and look down to see fissures emanating out from me, cracking leaf-shaped rocks from the surface. I reach down and pick one up and wipe some lunar dust off and it glistens with an almost opalescent sheen. From behind this leaf I notice another hint of color hidden under the dusty shell of the moon, a golden yellow vein. I reach down and touch the amber streak and confusion strikes me. It's soft. I dig my finger down and scoop a bit up and the notion hits me. It's absurd, there's no way. But I do it anyway. I bring the substance close to my face and I lick it. I can't believe it, it's cheese. 